Hi guys, um, today I have a project that I made for a friend of mine. Um, this is a card plus a box. So no envelopes, the card comes in this um, decorated box. So let's get on with it. Uh, this box is a cardboard box um, which measures six and a half by five inches. Uh, it was originally red in color, so I left it um, red because the color thing that I was going for was reds, blacks, whites, and silver. So I think it matches perfectly with the theme. So what I did to the box was I layered two pieces of lace here. One is this um, beautiful black lace. And the other one is this um, white uh, hand loom lace. I adhered the lace all around the box. That is uh, simply uh, what I did to the outside of the box. The lid on the box is made out of acetate. I'll show you the lid. See it's made out of acetate. So what I did was I lined the inside with a red cardstock as well as as I matted another red cardstock here as the first mat. And then I matted a piece of black cardstock and on top of that I matted the design paper. The paper that I used is from the Melissa Francis um, Classic Elegance Paper Pack. This is it. Um, this is the paper pack that I used and the paper that I used is this one. It has a nice damask design to it. Uh, I used this as the pattern paper here. And then the sentiment I fuzzy cut this out from the Kaiser Craft Precious Moments paper pack and I layered it on top of some uh, black and red cardstock as well. So I used um, a bling star here and for the dot of the eye in the word cherished I used a piece of um, rhinestone as well. And then moving on, uh, the die cut piece here is a fence. If you can see, I'm not sure whether this shows properly. This is the fence part and this part is the gate. These are the die cuts that I used. This is the fence and this is the gate. What I did was I um, sort of like layered this on top of the last three strips and put foam pads underneath. So it gives a bit of a dimension to it. And then um, I cut out uh, a couple of gears in different shapes. I glittered them with black and white glitter uh, because of the color theme that I was uh, going for. Um, so I have four gears here, one uh, white and three uh, black gears, all glittered. And this is a small circle that, that was an off cut from one of the gears as well. And then I used... Um, some uh, bling uh, to adhere on the place where I adhered this banner piece. This is vellum. Uh, I uh, made sure that it has this dimension. It gives sort of like a real banner look to it. The sentiment is um, says the friends. I used forever. some die cut butterflies as well. Um, I used rhinestones for the body part of the butterflies. Um, and this is um, a diamond shaped uh, bling piece. And this is a piece of a Christmas ornament that I had and it has sort of like um, this shimmery uh, trim all around it. Um, I guess that's it on the cup on the lid of the box and I used and I put a piece two pieces of lace here so that it will be easy to pull out the lid from the box. So that's the lid. Now, for the card, the card sits beautifully inside the box. Even though it has a lot of embellishments, it sits beautifully. Uh, so, uh, the die cut that I used, the die that I used to make the card is the Spellbinders Radiant. I made Tango's sure that set. the filigree piece is on both sides, on the front as well as the inside of the card. So, here I've used two, uh, two stick pins, some gears as well. And the same bling piece that I used on the car lid of the box. Uh, the sentiment is, says how beautiful a day can be. I when friendship touches super it. color butterfly. Some rhinestones for the body. The same star bling star. 
uh, this ornament piece and uh, that's sort of it. I ink the edges with um, black archival ink. This is the same pattern paper piece that I used on the box. So that's it on the front of the card and on the inside I made I matted another piece of the same die cut onto this side so that I could write my greeting here. And then here the sentiment is hope you have a monster sized birthday. This is a birthday card. So I matted the same pattern paper here as well. And then on top of this die cut I use this stamp. This stamp is from the Hero Arts Monster Fun stamp collection. So uh, basically this is what the card is and on the back it has my signature on it so as you can see the card sits perfectly inside the box and um, you can just pop the lid in it's ready to give to your uh, friend so this is the final product it's sort of like very shimmery and very elegant looking so, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.